for joining. So this is a talk now about uh, Scolia, which is a tool to help us uh, explore the content of um, information that is in Wikidata. Um, the talk is available on Zenodo, so you can uh, get to that DOI. There is um, also a video recording, so should anything go wrong here, you have a version of it. And some of it is uh, actually already embedded, um, is for instance, re events. So we're going to look at the page for the event itself. We can look at pages for um, taxa or for chemical compounds or pathways that are included in taxa. And I'll also uh, include some mentions of lexemes uh, because one of the things to be discussed later on in this workshop is probably the relationship between taxon concept and taxon name concept. And in Wikidata, there's an interesting split happening between uh, like semantic concepts and linguistic um, like terms like the lexemes because they essentially got different namespaces. And uh, I, I guess that's something that could be a fruitful input to discussions about how to handle a relationship between taxa and taxon names. And then there are a number of other things that I would like to demo, but I don't know how much uh, time I will have in, in the end. Um, so let me just mention right now that they help in actually curating the information. And then um, one of the things I would like to in inject into the discussion here at this workshop is how um, can Scolia help identify gaps in the information that Wikidata has and also help uh, people curate uh, around those gaps and uh, eventually close them? And uh, some of those gaps are mentioned here in this bullet point. So now let's get back to this other window. Oh, it doesn't load. That's interesting. No, it does. <laughs> so we have a page for the, um, for the event itself, um, which I've just assembled by includes me now virtually. Um, we have um, a number of people who have already published something that Wikidata knows of together. We get um, the uh, topic scores, like how, what is this uh, event about? Basically, by making use of the link between the event and the people, the people and their publications, and the publications and the topics that they're about. That's linked to open data right there. Uh, nobody annotated the event as to what its topic might be, but we're just pulling that information from essentially the papers that you all have published. And on that basis, we can see, oh, it's about biodiversity, biodiversity data, data sharing, wiki data, semantic web, and so on. Um, then um, there are works that we published. So um, for instance, just a, about a week ago, Eva and Anton have published uh, this paper here. And th this just pops out. Uh, this is not specially created for this event. It's just uh, because we have annotated the uh, papers as to who their authors are and what their um, publication dates are. And then that the authors are attending this event. And this allows us to display this um, this table here. And then if there are um, publications already uh, from the event, then they could be listed here. Another thing, related events. So if you're interested in events that are similar in time and space, then this is the ranking. If we're interested in events that are similar in terms of the people that attend, here is an overview. And so for instance, we see that this uh, ICEI in Jena about one and a half years ago, three people attended that. Um, and then for some other events, there were uh, two of us uh, attending. For each of those queries, there is a li link here, edit on query.wikidata.org, similar to the edit button on Wikipedia and on Wikidata, that leads us to the uh, query engine. And then we see the, the query that was uh, the basis for that particular visualization. And so uh, the principle of Scolia is actually to use Sparkle to present information. In order to uh, consume that information, you do not, do not need to know Sparkle. But if you want to um, do something further, for instance, you want to filter uh, this particular table just for things that happened in 2017 or something like this, then you can go edit the query and filter it. And um, then on that basis, uh, do further things. OK, so that was the first kind of thing I wanted to show. Second, most interesting, then uh, the genome is indexed. So uh, about 20,000 genomes of uh, C. elegans are indexed. The metabolome is still missing, but if it were there, it could be visualized. Um, 
That is uh, the view of Cineroptitis elegans as a taxon, how much they've published, but also how much they're cited. Um, again, representing this in different forms. Then what are the journals that publish on the topic? Uh, what are the most cited works and authors? And also, uh, what are the kind of the awards that people receive who published on this topic? Um, so that's just a quick rundown of the things that uh, you can have. Then let's move on to the next one, Puff, in the European word for water, which uh, gave rise to the English word of water, for instance, as well, or the Polish word of water. And um, here um, you could think of a similar uh, graphs for taxon names, for instance, and the revisions. Um, here, this is a comparison of some of the people in the room. Um, so instead of scolia slash author, where you get an individual profile, you can do scolia slash authors and then put a number of Wikidata identifiers there. You get an overview, you see uh, there's one work where three of the people in the room have uh, co-authored it and then several where uh, two of them uh, were co-authors. You see the timeline. You, for instance, see that uh, amongst the people in this group, uh, Quentin was the first one to start to publish, according to Wikidata. Um, all of the data in Wikidata is likely incomplete, so um, that's always a reason for uh, like looking twice. You can do the same thing, not just by number of publications, by number of citations. And then you can see the co-author graph of those, uh, the mention that we have a template that allows top to human, we have 10 compounds for which we know uh, the species where they're found. So that's not a large number. And uh, so there's lots of room for improvement. And uh, I think the things that we're discussing here, they could help uh, aggregate such data. Subset of nomenclatural acts. We have um, phenotypic information, but it's uh, almost all um, genetic and for very few model uh, species, it's not really generic. Uh, we have almost no occurrence data and very little about ecological relationships. And I think using scolia profiles of the things uh, of things like phenotypes and, and so on or, uh, can help identify the gaps and um, then hopefully help people and automated tools and workflows to fill those gaps in a way that is uh, that makes sense in uh, when considering the wider landscape of such databases and biodiversity data infrastructure. Finally, um, I would like to thank our sponsor, the Sloan Foundation, that helps us improve the infrastructure behind uh, Scolia. And if you want to uh, read up on the details, here is a link to the grant proposal. Um, Wikidata has a newsletter that comes out every week, and uh, Scolia has a Twitter handle that also has um, yeah, news on a, on a regular basis. So that was it for the moment. Thank you.